Well, from one young superstar to another, sometimes you hear a talent and you just know that there's definitely something special going on. Something very special. Jessica Clark had that happen to her over the weekend. <laughs> Jess, you have been telling me about this. This oh, guy is great. He is so incredible. So here's the situation. I was emceeing an event over the weekend, St. Augustine Music Hall of Fame, and then St. Augustine's David Luce mm -hmm. is a person I happened to meet Sunday. Mm -hmm. Then he played his guitar, he sang on stage, and he was incredible. We were all turning to each other <laughs> going, he's 17? Right. Look. With these old boots, on my feet. Davis Luce is only 17. Be warm, but they ain't be. But he sounds These like he's been singing country boots. music for decades. This St. Augustine High School senior picked up the guitar when he was... When I was like 10 or 11 years old, I spent a lot of time with my grandpa. And that's where my love of country music comes from. Classic country music. He used to always have Merle Haggard or Waylon Jennings or Buck Owens or Hank Snow. Um, on the record player. Davis got a real introduction to live music here at the St. Augustine Amphitheater. When he was around 11 or 12 years old, some of the folks here offered him the chance to volunteer. I'd run the blower and I'd clean bathrooms and I'd help clean the dressing rooms and I'd stock tour buses. Because he was a cute little kid hanging around the place, big stars were close at hand. You got to meet Willie Nelson, Justin Moore, Randy How I mean, the list is on and on and on. Four years ago, Davis formed a band, Davis and the Loose Cannons, which perform locally. Boom, baby. Big names have started to take notice of the teenage troubadour. Country music icon Marty Stewart, during a meet and greet jam session, forgot the lines to a song and... And he kind of took his guitar and just pointed it at me like that and said, stand up and sing it. And Luckily, I knew the words and sang it back to him, and he was so impressed. That landed Luce a chance to play on stage with Stewart. Things got really, really real in the, the past year and a half. He's performed in Nashville. His onstage presence is endearing, and Luce is releasing his band's first album this week. He wrote all of the songs on it. I've never been so excited. Davis really? Luce is an old soul. I've heard that once or twice. <laughs> yeah. I hear that maybe once a day. And classic country music is what he also hears in his heart. There's a story in every song. <laughs> and so guys, not only wow. is he talented, he's nice. Isn't that nice to <laughs> yeah, know about nice. somebody? I mean, he is just charming. The CD coming out this week, Davis and the Loose Cannons, The Next Lonesome Road. I've listened to it now twice on my way to really? work. Wow. And I am singing and singing it. And guys, he's so good. He's so genuine. I just, I think there's something there. Yeah. What a star. <laughs> Davis Loose. All right, Davis Jess. Davis Loose. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for sharing his story. He's amazing.